Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. And in this video, I'm going to share with you the items that I got from Cherry Culture. So if you want to see what I got, please stay tuned. So I picked up a couple things and, you know, some palettes from Cherry Culture and some lip stuff. Quite a bit of lip stuff, actually. Um, not quite, a little bit of um, lip stuff from Cherry Culture because I wanted to try some NYX stuff. And I wanted to try some Amuse palettes, which I knew they had in stock. So... For the next stuff, I picked up two blushes. I had a friend who sells NYX products, and um, I saw these blushes from her because I picked up one actually from her at that time. And I decided since I was, you know, holding it again, I would just pick up um, two other blushes. So I got Boho Chic. And now these items are in package still, and if you want swatches, you can leave a comment below and I will do it. And this one is in Rose Petal. So, Boho Chic seems to be more of a, has a pink rose kind of color to it, and Rose Petal seems to have more of a coral kind of color to it. Um, next I got with these Jordana, oops, Easy Shine. I picked up four. Now, I know you can get these from a number of places in the retail for you know various prices um if you're in Trinidad you can get these at Pennywise for $14.95 or $14.99 and um, TT dollars and if you also pick it up from Wonderful World you get these for somewhere around I think $18 um Cherry Culture retail these I think for $1.99 and in some beauty stores you can get it for the same $1.99 or $2.50 US dollars so I got it in berry colada which is like a kind of reddish color it seems to be red with shimmer and none of these items are open as yet sugar cookie which the name sounds is so cute which seems to be maybe like a neutral color it's like a brown it's not red it may look red here but it's more brown um then for the pinky tones i got a raspberry so this is what raspberry look like. Very nice, like a pinky. It reminds me of the baby lips. Um, the one that I have. I can't even remember the name, sorry. And the last one was watermelon juice, which I really was excited to get. This is like a reddish, pinkish, coral kind of color. So I think this is one of those colors that you can say it's like my lips would better, or maybe this one. So really excited to try those. I also picked up three. Um, round lipsticks from NYC. I had these a while back and I think all the ones that I had I did dispose of because I had them such a long time I was in using it and which in reason I just thought okay I don't have any round lipsticks from NYX so I want to add them to my collection. So I got Flower which is like a sh has a shimmer in it and it's more of like a, peat a darker peachy kind of color Next we have Chloe, which is like a really like um red, purple, pink kind of color. And I have Drama Queen in the round lip gloss. And so this looks pretty much like it. So I don't know. If you want me to do a review on them or swatches, I can do that for you. Then last one would be Gardenia, which is like a really rose color, which is very typical of some of the colors. But this is just these are just darker. Next, I got four of these LA Colors Jumbo Eye Pencils. Now, I know these retail, I think, um, in Wonderful World for about $10 TT. These were around the same price, like $150 US dollars. But I mainly bought it because I wanted this one, which is Seashells, which I have never seen at Wonderful World. Every time I go, it's sold out. And this is actually like a white pencil. And I think this will be the last of the white pencils that I am collecting because I want to do a review and I wanted a variety of these um, white bases to tell you which one works best. So expect a review on the different white bases that are around. For example, this one, there's also I think an LA Girls one, etc. So um, I think there was a white Kajal that I paid like $20 at Wonderful World also. So expect a review on that. Um, I also picked up three other colors. And this is in Summer Love, which is like a really nice green color. 
It's like more of a darker green. This one is um, Desert Sun, which is like a gold. I wanted a nice gold color. Want to do an um, like a Bollywood look. And then this one is in Sand Castles, which is like a nice brown neutral. So it seems like if these I will be using. Now I've got four in total from Cherry Culture, but I also picked up some at Wonderful World. So look out for a video where I'll show you swatches of all that I have and a small review. And one of the things I'm really in I'm curious about is how I can depot these items, these pencils, just like I do with my Jumbo, next Jumbo pencils. So I will let you guys know how I am able to handle that. Next, I picked up two palettes from Cherry Culture, and this one is um, an Amuse Eyeshadow palette. And it says Fashion Colors. Yeah, so this is what the box looks like. You know, really nice. And you know how the boxes really make everything look really fabulous. And so, yeah. So, this is how the packaging comes, and this is how the back looks. And you don't see any names or anything really except ingredients and made in China and it says it expires within 24 months of use so there's this huge mirror which is amazing for travel and then I won't try to blind you guys I'll keep the mirror down the, there are these colors so there are 28 colors here and two large ones so this is a black this is a matte white it's a matte matte white now these shadows are tinier than a dime which is ten, the 10 cents coin it's much tiny as you can see this one here as compared to my nail how tiny it is so I'm very curious as to how my brushes are going to you know work well in them and I think they're pretty much the span of an elf eyeshadow brush um, so I'm assuming there's not too much product but this is actually really good for me um, to use and try out. I hope that they're pigmented and not chalky or they don't, you know, just look pigmented when swatched and then, you know, they fade away. So I plan to um, use these and do a review for you so you can stay tuned. Now these range, I think, like about $3.99, $4.99 or $5.99. So it wasn't really ex that expensive at all. And there is a matte black in here also. It's not the big round one, but there's a tiny matte black here. Couple neutral colors, and I can show you this again. Couple neutral colors here on this side. You have your smoky colors here. You have in the middle some bright colors and then some really nice simple colors. Now, I think outside of that black, there are no other matte eyeshadows outside of the black and the big white one, round one. And I do apologize for the dogs barking outside. It's, you know, it's really, 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 really late. And the last palette that I got was this other muse. It says matte eyeshadows. So it's... Um, oh. Yeah. And I think there were three versions of it. And they came in different cases. And mine is this black leather case which is really kind of messed up as you can see it's not as from the packaging I'm a little disappointed already in that so I don't know if I'll be able to clean it out etc at the back says matte eyeshadow and it doesn't say if there's any particular version so I think all of the colors um, all of the three different types have the same colors however the packaging outside is just um different kind of patent letters this one is black they had silver and I think red it comes with a mirror straight across and then these are the colors and they are numbered so just to raise it all very quickly it comes with a sponge tip applicator and from the science of this I can tell you all the colors are not matte because I am seeing some shimmers so yeah um, but predominantly most of them seem to be pretty matte most of the neutrals here seem pretty matte I don't know if they're chalky or not but I will definitely try them out and let them know. I also told Cherry Culture while I placed in my order that I did do YouTube um, videos and so they sent me this gift along with a regular lip gloss which they do add to every order and I, I took mine in chocolate and my whole package did come spin like chocolate but this palette I got from them to review so I will let you know and it's also another Amuse palette so yeah so that's my haul if you like to see swatches of any of these items please stay tuned i will do a review um on these pencils as i'm very curious on how well they work because they're pretty reasonable so thank you so 